human race is on the verge of extinction because of obstructive sleep apnea, right? Well, not really, but this is a very common marketing claim nowadays. In order to expand unabated confusion around the topic of obstructive sleep apnea, last year the American Association of Orthodontists, the AO, came out with a white paper on the subject. Recently I published a short blog post with my interpretations of this paper and now I want to wrap up my message in an even shorter video summary. Hi, my name is Alex Dietmer and this is Orthodontic Grammar. The first thing in my view we have to be in mind while screening for pediatric abstracted sleep apnea is the fact that there are two most common risk factors. Hypertrophic tonsils or adenoids and obesity. As a result, these two conditions should be addressed as a first line of treatment. Secondly, neither 2D nor 3D imaging of the AOAs should be used to diagnose obstructive sleep apnea. This is simply because breathing is a process and the AOAs are not static. So how an orthodontist should screen for the symptoms then? The perfect solution is the pediatric sleep questionnaire, the link to which I'll put in the description of this video below. If the parents provide some positive answers, an orthodontist should refer a child to an ENT doctor for some specialized treatment. And the last thing that I want to mention is the fact that although maxillary expansion might help to elevate the symptoms of abstracted sleep apnea, it shouldn't be prescribed indiscriminately to each and every child who enters an orthodontic office. All in all, our treatment should be problem-oriented and the parents of our patients would certainly be much happy if we would not overprescribe our appliances. If you're an orthodontist and you haven't read the AU white paper yet, you must do it. And if you're not an orthodontist but are interested in the subject, I could recommend you to read my blog post with my interpretations of this paper. All the links are in the description of this video below. My name is Alex Dietmar, this is Orthodontic Grammar. I wish you good rates and stable results. Don't forget to subscribe.